guys, it's Amelia and Arabella and today we are making shortbread biscuits. So we have the ingredients in front of us, 250 grams of butter, 110 grams of sugar and 360 grams of flour. So we're going to be mixing the butter and the sugar together to make a creamy consistency. So let's get started with that. Let's try. Right. So I've got the butter in and now I'm going to add the sugar. Now we're going to mix that up until a creamy consistency and it's, it's looking delicious but it might not look good. So we're going to mix it all up and what, I have an idea. Why don't you subscribe to the video, comment and like? That would make us very happy. So why don't you go and do that right now? We'll give you three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, your time's up. If you have done that, then good job to you. Now, now that you need to keep mixing, you need to keep mixing until it's very, very, very creamy. So I'm going to keep mixing and make sure to subscribe and comment and like and do all them stuff to make us happy, remember? And yeah, so now that it's pretty, not, mm, I think I should mix it up a bit more. What do you think guys? Comment down below. I'm just going to keep on going for a bit just to make sure. But I think this might be good enough. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good enough. And now I'm. And now we add the flour. So now that we, now that we've add, going to add the flour, let's just do that. Now that we've added the flour, we need to mix very well. Now. Bella is going to do this part and remember guys subscribe like and comment you need to get right in the bowl you need to mix it very well you need to make sure everything is mixed in so you, you get it the perfect consistency and now that you've added all three ingredients it will turn into dough and then we need to knead it and make it in, into the um, then we're going to roll it out and then we're going to put the cookie cutters in it. But one thing you do need to know, do not, do not make it too thin because it will just And at some burn. point you will have to get your hands on it. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. We're both going to do that. Now you'll see it's starting to clump up and that's a good thing because it's starting to turn to dough. So we're going to keep doing this and then... Yeah, so this is what it's looking like so far. It's not like dough yet, it's just very crumbly and sticky. You're going to have to keep mixing it though, because at this point, just don't give up yet because it will turn to dough soon. And you need to really mix it, you need to really mix it. Very mix it hard. until it's starting to get like that. Um, mm -hmm. Just keep on mixing it. Yeah. You need to mix it until it's very clumpy and very big and doughy. So, yeah. I think it's ready now. Maybe just a few. No, we need to we need to mix it a bit more. Yeah, because the, so the flour at the bottom. You might see that it's not getting very big. And you just need to keep mixing, just keep mixing. I know I keep telling you to keep mixing, but it's a very important stage. Yeah. So just keep mixing and mixing and mixing until you get your Okay guys, we've got it all mixed up. The dirt is pretty good now. So we're gonna sprinkle some flour down. Just a little bit so that you can get, um, just not too much. Just enough now we're gonna half the dough so we can both do some yeah that's enough 
and you're gonna just knead it and knead it and knead it and then we're gonna roll it out I'll start with the rolling pin and you're just gonna roll it until not too thin remember because you don't want it to break you might need to roll it out a couple of times before it gets to the right like shape but I think this is thick enough is it? Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, so. I'm going to give it a go now. So now we're going to press this in pretty hard. Well, and then, then roll it. wiggle it a bit so it gets unattached from all those little bits. Then you can take this off. I think that's about... And you've got good, a cookie. And then we're going to put it into a pan. That's good. This pan. And we're going to put them all in there once they're done. And then we need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. And keep them in for about 15 minutes. And that should be good enough. So I'm going to use the rolling pin again. And, and I'm going to make another cookie. This now, one's the, mine. The thing about the dough is when you do one, it might not fit for like two or three but you can roll it out again and again and again but you can just keep on going keep up going wiggle it wiggle it to get it unattached and take it off so then it's all unattached and we can put them in and this one and is basically the same as what Amelia just said it's exactly the same exactly. it comes from the same dome <laughs> so, yeah now, if you want to make a lot of um, this, the um, things, it might take a while to work it out, but you can look for other th things for that. If you don't want this particular amount, then you don't need to, but this is a good, this amount. Is a good amount for cookies. Right there. Well, not cookies, shortbread cookies. Well, biscuits. Yeah. Cookies, same thing. So, we've got some of the cookies in you can keep on going with the dough just keep rolling it out keep doing it and you can keep going keep going keep going make sure it's thick enough though comment below what recipes you'd like to us to show you how to do next because we really like that i personally really like co cooking baking you know that sort of thing and so i would really like it if you could comment down below all the things that we could do and that would make me very happy because i do like lo lo like cooking yeah <laughs> but anyway we're going to keep going with this and just keep going and keep going until we've got enough bits I don't think we can fit any more on there. We might be able to fit one more. One or two more. One or two more. Bella will do that. But with this extra dough, you could save it, I think. And I'm not quite sure how you would save it, but you can try save it. Or like, you know. But don't bridge. <laughs> this, if you need to make sure to get a big enough pan for this, though. I'm not sure if you have a big enough pan, but you know, you need to try and make it big. So, these are the last few cookies before we put them in the oven, preheated to 180 degrees, and keep them in for fi about 15 minutes. And I don't think this one can fit. We'll try and make it fit. Um, if we move them up a bit, So maybe we could fit it there. Uh, yes, that fits. There we are. So we're all done with these. We've got the cookies in here. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. But we've got the cookies in here. And yeah. So make sure you get an adult supervision so that you can be safe with the oven. Because ovens are very hot and dangerous. So yeah. Now we're going to put them in the oven. We're going to pass this to our dad so he can put them in the oven because we need adult supervision, obviously. We can make them and he can put them in the oven. <laughs> but guys, whilst that's happening, subscribe, like, and give this video a comment to, yeah, just do all the things. Okay guys, the cookies are out of the oven and they're done. Now, this is optional.
original, but we are going to sprinkle some cinnamon sugar over this. This is made with just cinnamon yes. and casting sugar. So we're going to sprinkle this over there. These are the finished cookies actually. And yeah, we're going to sprinkle all of this. Well, we might not use all of it, but we're going to sprinkle this over the cookies and just pinch it at a time just so we get enough on each cookie and yeah just remember to subscribe like and comment on this video to make us very very happy and we'll see you next time bye, bye. what you giving that's how we live it don't be mad at the system it's simply how we've existed i hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe